Hi everybody, I'm Melissa from cladmom.com. I'm gonna give you a few tips when it comes to breastfeeding a six month old baby. The major things that become difficult at this stage, in my view, is that the baby's heavier and number two, they tend to get really distracted. Number three, they also tend to sort of push you away while they're breastfeeding. So you need to have a really secure hold. So what I do is I actually hold onto the baby's leg with this one hand. Now you can see him coming off for a minute. And then I put my other hand underneath my baby. This gives me a very tight and secure hold. Six month old babies will eat much more quickly than your baby did in an earlier stage. So keep that in mind. When your baby comes off the breast, either because they're distracted or they want to look around, or they've just decided to take a little break, that is the point at which you put your baby on your lap, you burp your baby securely, which is a good opportunity to talk to them and show them things in the outside world, and then you put the baby back onto the breast. Keep breastfeeding until your baby has burped and they are rejecting more food. This is how you know that they are finished breastfeeding and that they've gotten enough milk. Another thing that's very, very helpful at six months in my view, and I've done this with all of my six babies, is to give the milk first. Give the milk before you give solid foods. That way you ensure that your baby has gotten enough milk because for the first 12 months of life, breast milk or formula remain the primary source of nutrition. You also will have a much more patient baby who will be more eager and excited to be trying out new foods and it puts a lot less pressure on you because when you try to feed solid foods to a very hungry baby, it's a very frustrating and difficult experience. So with all that said, I'm gonna take my distracted six month old baby Bracey now and try to put him back on the breast. You can see what a process this is. Here we go. He's back on the breast. I actually hold one hand on his leg. I have the other hand beneath him. My back is freed up. My neck is freed up. It's a very, very comfortable position for me. And I keep going until Bracy is full. Thank you so much for watching cloudmom.com and check back in for more how-to videos on your baby.